What's up YouTube? It's your girl Rochelle and I'm back with another video. Thank you guys for liking, sharing, and subscribing. Y'all, we hit 5k. We in here baby. 5,000 subscribers. What? Thank you so, so much for following my journey as I work toward living our best life on a budget while paying off debt and sharing all of our wins and our fails okay I, I it's real over here we everything is not sunshine okay even though we are on the island of oahu hawaii i share the rainstorms because guess what you gotta wait for that beautiful rainbow afterwards and speaking of rainbow check out my nails of the week i am loving 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 how they turned out my niece did my nails she's practicing just one of her side hobbies and oh I'm so glad she's in the building, y'all. So as you can see, we will be stuffing $1,150, okay? So first things first, we have to count it up and make sure that it's right. 50, 100, 50, 200, 50, 300, 50, 400, 50, 500, 50, 600, 50, 700, 50, 800, 20, 40, 60, 80, 900, 20, 40, 60, 80, 1,000, 20, 40, 60, 80, 1100, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. It'll actually be um, $1,152 because I'll be taking $2 from my bank money, which I have here. And if you aren't familiar with how I use bank money, I basically hold on to money over time. And every time I need to um, exchange bills, whether it's larger bills or smaller bills, I have my bank and I don't have to run out every time. So that is what you see here. And I'm going to work hard to not have to spend this $10 bill because <laughs> that's the boo thing right there. I love, love, love how the old $10 bills look. I don't like the new $10 bills. They're ugly don't like but anyway how are you guys doing today you know since we hit 5k we're doing a giveaway right i can't wait to share the details with you guys and let you know what i plan on doing for the giveaway but when it happens and it's all put together you guys will be the first to know so first off before we touch any of our money and stuff it we have to do an unstuffing so these are the cash envelopes the first five are cash envelopes that i keep on me in my wallet at all times and so personal money has some left over next up is eating out it has 100 dollars, and we're gonna set that to the side oh <sighs> y'all my eating out bills Ugh, ugh. i'm not even gonna talk about it groceries also has 100 dollars miscellaneous has some coin miscellaneous has 20. tips doesn't have anything because um this would have technically been in there i just pull from whatever tips or personal and then we have ten dollars for the nickel challenge all right so let me grab my coin jar and this is all the money that i am saving for the nickel challenge you see it you see it and so the goal is to put whatever I save by the end of the year towards our mortgage. And hopefully this will help to meet our goal, which is to be mortgage free by the end of December. So we in here, y'all. Or should I say we out here? Do the, do the kids still say that anymore? When you hit your 30s, you feel so out of touch with the <laughs> generations behind you. I feel like an old soul. But um. If you want to know how much money this is, check out my six month update of my 2021 savings challenge. I counted it and I'm very happy with the results so far. And so that's what we have here. And now you know what? In that video, I also share some ideas for 2022 savings challenges. So yes, yes, yes. Beautiful. Okay. So speaking of the nickel challenge, 26 week challenge, all these beautiful savings challenges, let's get it popping. Let's start off with the zero out challenge. So the zero out challenge is my favorite savings challenge because it is super easy and you use money that you already have. So if you don't have any money to stuff your cash envelopes with every pay week, the zero out challenge might be for you. But for this week, my checking account actually had a whole number, 
my personal checking account, say, for example, had $250. And so technically I didn't have anything to use for the zero hour challenge. And I was like, no, honey, that cannot be my story. So I just did $1. I um, definitely am pumped about the zero out challenge. So a humble $1 will go there. And so remember the zero out challenge for me, we are saving um, to build our emergency fund and we're trying to passively grow it to $4,000 by the end of this year. Okay, so if we count up all the money we have left from our unstuffing, let's see, 150, 200, 10, 20, 25, 26, 27. So 127 dollars. We're gonna leave this right here. We're gonna come back to that in a minute, okay? Don't fret, don't fret. Let's go ahead with our next savings challenge, which is going to be the nickel challenge. I'm opening this up like, <laughs> come on back, baby. Come on back in frame because we are stuffing this with $250. Yes, honey, 50, 100, 50, 200, and 50. Remember, I said I'm going hard in the paint all summer. I am trying to save as much money as I can. And so for the nickel challenge, this is what we're working with. Just like that, just like that. Okay, okay, okay. And at the end of the month, I will probably real talk deposit all this money into the bank because we're gonna be traveling and I just don't wanna have this much cash on me. I don't want to leave this much cash in the house while we are gone. I work too hard, I work too hard. And then when we get back, I'll probably pull it back out. All right, so nickel challenge, done. Next up is the 26 week challenge. So let me bring this back out. So 26 week challenge this week. If you are doing the 26 week challenge, let me know in the comments, how is it going? We are gonna add $42. First off, my money was feels upside down. Wait, I can't figure it out today. Okay, so let's see how much we have saved so far. We're trying to save 1,000, just over $1,000 by December. 100, 20, 40, 60, 80, 200, 20, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 5, 300, and 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So $315 saved in the 20 week, 20 week, 26 week challenge so far. This is a great savings challenge for people who get paid every other week. Um, so that's why I like it. Whoa. So it's kind of like the 52 week challenge, but you get my drift. And I know it seems like Rochelle, you are more than halfway through the year. And if you're trying to save a thousand dollars and only have 300 something, how are you going to meet the goal? Well, it works because you start to really have to save more and more each payday. So it's about to get real. You see how we had to add $42 by the end of the year, we will be adding like 60 or 70 or $80 every single time. So imagine how quickly, quickly that will build up. Next up is the Wednesday weather challenge. That's right, your girl was bringing it back because we are trying to save as much money as we can. Um, we will stuff that one next payday. Okay, 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 it's coming, it's coming. Next up is the change. So I only had five cent in my purse this week. I have not been walking like I usually do. But um, this is a savings challenge that kind of chose me. I don't like change, but I would go for walks and I would find so much change on the ground. So like I said, you have to watch my six month savings challenge update video to find out how much money I saved. Next up is, oh, it's already our last savings challenge. What do you think it is, y'all? Bam! Hot Girl Summer Savings Challenge. I'm having so much fun collabing with Mel Budgets and Cassie J Budgets um, and everybody else who is deciding to join and save money with us in the month of July. We love, love, love monthly savings challenges. These are great for people who are beginners, they're new to saving money, maybe you don't always have freed up money. And so the goal is to save $300 by the end of the month but say you can't afford to do that, no problem. Save what you can, okay? Make it work. Um, and so, so far, we have $150 in here, and now we are going to add another $150. So 50, 150. So this should be it. This should be it for the Hot Girl Savings Challenge. 50, 100, 50, 20. 
20. I knew I was gonna mess that up. 50, 100, 50, 70, 90, 210, 230, 250, 270, 290, 310. So far, and it's not even the end of the month. So we have, this is a magic month for us, or us. We get paid one more time. So I'm thinking I might try to stuff this bad boy one more time. And all the money that I save will go towards our mortgage. Okay, so now it is time to restuff these bad boys. So first up is personal money. I'm going to give myself $10. And this is for any small purchases that I have to make that are less than $5. You know how you go in the store and they're like, um, no, less than $5, you gotta pay cash. So that's what that is for. Next up is eating out. Eating out is getting $200, baby. 200 big ones because <laughs> the nieces are here. They are in the building, 50, 100, 50, 200. And we gotta make sure we got money for eating out. My nieces, I they actually are gonna be so mad they missed this video. They want it to be in this video. Um, but they are 16 and 20 years old. They saved their own money to come and visit us. And they came with their own budget and their own money. And they have been just, ugh. They're like, Auntie, we um, have been watching your videos. We are budgeting. We have been trying to save up to buy our first car, save up to do all these different things. And this is why I love sharing my journey because you never know who it will touch. My nieces didn't really show me signs at first that they were pe you know, peeking and looking at what I was doing and learning from me and watching me fail and watching me win, but they were watching y'all the whole time. And so literally my niece is like, oh, we need to get your nails done. You have your, your um, budget video to do. Like they, it's too much. I just, I don't, I don't even wanna go any further about it. I'm just so grateful to have them in my life. But next up is groceries. It's going to get $100. And so we are going to put this here. Next up is miscellaneous. This is going to be for anything that happens to pop up. And real talk, this will probably end up being fun money. It's going to get $100. Yeah, 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 $100. Actually, you know what? I think I wanna use 20s for this. Yeah, 20, 40, 60, 80, 100. Cause people be tripping lately. They'll be like, oh. No bills larger than $20 accepted. No reason. Tips is $40. Or maybe I don't understand the reason. I'm not going to say for no reason. But um, let's see. What, how should we do this? We'll do a 20 and a 10 and two fives. Yeah, that's, that'll work. And then that is it. So these are the ones that I will put back in my wallet. I have to take all my other junk out. You guys don't need to see that. You don't need to see that. Okay, so this is how I do it. And I put my cash envelopes right in here and zip it up. I have a few extra things in here this time, so it feels kind of bulky. But a cute little wristlet that comes with my other bag. I love it. Okay, so we're done with this for now. We are saving, saving, saving. Thank you very much. Next up are the sinking funds. Yes, yeah, sinking funds. So, who these bad boys took a hit, y'all. I'm almost so embarrassed to show them to you, but we gotta do it, we gotta do it. Okay, so what should we start with first? How about we start with Eva's hair? No, no, I wanna go in order. Does self-care have any money, 20? 40, 60, 80, 100, 10, 20. Okay, good. That's enough for Mike and I to get a massage. Next up is health. Health is going to get, how much are you getting health? $20. Health is getting 20. 20, 40, 60, 80, 90 dollars for health. And so anytime we have any appointments, any co-pays, because we are about to start having to pay our own health insurance. So we wanna be ready. Next up is beauty. 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 <laughs> Channeling my inner budget and D. Okay, East Hair is going to get $100. That's why I wanted to save these 50s. She already has her hair done now. She looks so cute. Maybe I'll insert a pic. And then she needs to get her hair done again before we travel. So 50, 100, 
20, 30, $130. So technically I need to just save like 30 more dollars to get her hair braided. Next up is E again. This is for her clothes. She is getting $20. She has nothing. We went shopping. That was not fun at all. She had meltdowns and she's a whole preteen y'all. She's turning 10 and she's like, I don't know what I want. But anyway, we made it through. Thank goodness. Mike is getting 20 also. So now he will have 20, 40, 60, 80 dollars. Then we have house and hygiene, which is also getting $20. It has nothing. We used every penny. I bought like a case of water for the house, um, napkins, TP, you know, the usual. Next up is me. I have nothing. I also went shopping. I got me a pair of shoes. Y'all, okay. Have you guys been using prom wardrobe without me and not telling me how you can try clothes for free for seven days and then decide on them? Y'all know I hate shopping in person and you know how much I love Amazon. Oh my goodness, I bought these shoes. They are Tevas or Tevas, T-E-V-A. They are Jesus shoes. They look horrible, they look ugly, but they were pretty comfortable for me. And I'm so glad my friend told me about them. Um, but yeah, we did that. They were a little pricey. They were a little pricey. So the minute I have a problem with them, I will be complaining. Okay, next up. We did row, we did row. Is LV, this was starting to build up, so I put the money back in. So it's just gonna get $20. We deposited $300 today though. I know the bank tellers, shout out to the bank tellers, cause they work so hard for us cash staffers. I know they are looking at me like I am crazy, okay? Cause I go in there with $300 and I'm like, hey, can you deposit this into my bank account? But also, can I get $1,150 out? And she just, I mean, she doesn't blink. They don't miss a, a beat. They're like, sure ma'am. I know they talk once I leave. I know they do. I know they do. Are we gonna stuff fun money? Why do I have so much money left? You know I get nervous. Why, why? How much is left? Hold tight, y'all. I have to be honest, I did not go, I did a very rough, blah. I did a very rough draft, look. See, so. Why do we have so much money left is the question. Some of this is bank money, but 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 75, 80, 81, 82, 83, 84 dollars. 84 dollars. Okay, I'm gonna put this in bank money because I don't remember how much bank money I should have had left over. I did not write that down. So we're just gonna assume it was around about 80 dollars. I promise you my systems work. It looks crazy, but it works. I only have to go to the bank like once every two weeks like a normal person. Okay, and then remember this money that we unstuffed, 150, 200, 210, 220, 225, 226, 227. We're gonna add that to our fund money. Yes. So then we should have $327. And I'm going to also put this in my cash, my cash envelope, in my purse so that I can have money for when we wanna do something fun. It's the weekend, you know, it's the weekend. And let me make sure there's no other cash envelopes I need to pull out. Self-care, health, beauty, not yet. E, already got her clothes, Mike, not yet. Done, done, okay, yes, yes, yes. Okay, so that's it, guys. <laughs> Thank you again for 5K. I just, I'm tripping over here because Man, I've been on YouTube a long time, but all of a sudden I am really starting to gain some traction again. And so I'm just very grateful to uh, meet so many different people. Let me know in the comments, do you have a YouTube channel? Let me know if you do. I want to support, I want to tune in, and I also want to subscribe. But I want to make sure that I'm not just subscribing blindly. I watch, so I take my time. I have a whole long watch list. And yeah, I don't mess around with supporting um, people who, um, you can ask anybody in my comments who I already know and support. I really don't play about supporting <laughs> my fellow YouTube channels. But thank you so much. And I will see you guys in the next video with my bomb fun nails. All right, love y'all. Peace, love, and budgets. <laughs>